we're really excited about this video, aren't we? Yeah. This one's going to be awesome. So you know how you hear so much nowadays about robots and artificial intelligence? When we were kids, that was something like, <laughs> that was as real as coming true as like the Jetsons flying around in spaceships everywhere, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, yeah but it's coming very real. Yeah. And we don't know really what to make of it. You know, progress like that is kind of scary to a lot of people. So we thought we'd make a bit of fun of it. Mm. So can you explain what ChatGPT is? Yeah, well, it's an artificial intelligence program that was released uh, late last year um, to the public and anyone can access it and um, ask it questions. You can ask it anything. Yeah. Um, and as it goes on, it improves. The more questions you ask, the better the answer responses are. Um, some people have used it for job applications. Some yeah. people have used it to cheat on exams. Yeah. We thought we'd have a bit of fun with this mm. and we'd ask ChatGPT, what does the perfect one day itinerary on the Sunshine Coast look like? Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited. You've got my towel and my bathers on. First recommendation from ChatGPT Chat and we'll tell you when we get there. Good idea? Yeah. Yeah, follow us today. Stay with us because we've had a read and it's recommended some awesome places and we're going to fit it all into today for you right up to sunset dinner time, aren't we? Yep. And you're going to see some beautiful places on the coast. So this is the start of the suggested itinerary for the perfect day on the Sunshine Coast from ChatGPT. And it says, early morning, start your day with a refreshing swim at Malulabar Beach. One of the most popular beaches on the Sunshine Coast. Take a stroll along the beachfront, which offers a great range of cafes and restaurants, or try your hand at surfing or stand-up paddleboarding. Okay, so we won't be doing surfing or stand-up paddleboarding, but we will be going for a swim, and then we're gonna have a delicious breakfast. What a great way to start the day. never get sick of coming to Malulabar Beach. It's so beautiful. It's so clean. It's, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. It's reasonably quiet out there. You can see not that many people around. It's so beautiful. What a perfect way to start the day is to have a swim here. I love it. This is our favorite beach. You know that because we talk about it. It's really fantastic. Perfect way to start the day, hey? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Right, awesome. Fresh berries, granola, milk on the side, and a coffee. After breakfast, ChatGPT suggested we visit Sea Life in Malulabar. It's a world-class aquarium and it features a wide range of marine animals including sharks, rays, sea turtles and tropical fish. It's a great way to learn more about the marine life of the Sunshine Coast region.
I love them, don't you think? The mammoths, they're so pretty. Awesome. We spent an hour and a half in sea life and it was fantastic. And just a tip, if you buy their tickets online and you book ahead, you save 20%. And for some people that we know who qualify for a senior concession, they pay almost half <laughs> they pay almost half price, so that's really good. So we had so much fun, but we haven't got time. I'm starving and I know where ChatGPT is taking us next to an awesome place further north for lunch and a walk around. Let's go. GPT makes a great recommendation for lunch. It suggests that we stop at their popular Yamundi markets. They're open on Wednesdays and Saturdays and that we try out some local delicacies and handmade crafts. A mushroom? And thyme arancini ball mm. from a little Italian store, and the lady was really nice. Yeah. Only four dollars. Oh wow! Yeah. Mm. Well, mine was good. It's a Japanese pancake. Mm. It was eleven dollars, but it's fantastic. Oh, can really I have a taste? Yeah, go for it. Well, we really enjoyed our lunch and I knew we would. And I love coming here on a Wednesday because it's much quieter than if you come on a Saturday. But no time to waste. We've got somewhere else really exciting to take you. A day's only hmm, halfway through. So let's go. Chat GPT tells us early afternoon, head to the famous ginger factory in Yandina, where you can explore the history and production of ginger and try out various ginger products. Take a train ride through the gardens, taste the ginger flavoured treats, or have a picnic in the scenic surrounds. Don't know about a picnic, but I'm definitely going to have a coffee. If you come to the ginger factory, you must try this. This is their famous ginger scones with ginger jam and cream. And the scones nice and warm. And Paul and I are going to share. Ta-da! There you go. You know I hate ginger. <laughs> he loves ginger. Mm. Mm. 
are really good. Mm, ginger spun, ginger jam, and cream. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. The scone's warm, and the scone has chunks of ginger in it. It's really delicious. Really good. Okay, so we've had a fantastic day. We're getting a bit tired now. We've traveled from Yandina to Noosa, and that's 33 kilometers. And it's starting to, there's still some blue sky up there, but it's starting to cloud over a bit. But it's almost sunset time. And chat GPT offered the following suggestion. Late afternoon, drive to the Noosa Heads National Park, which offers stunning coastal views and various walking tracks. Take a walk through the park and spot the wildlife, including koalas and other native animals, while enjoying the breathtaking scenery. Talk about breathtaking scenery. We're gonna take you on a little walk and show you, but here's some. love walking around Noosa National Park but especially this time in the late afternoon because you're almost guaranteed of a fantastic sunset and it's a bit windy up here and the temperatures cool down which is great but uh, we're gonna have a little bit more of a walk and then the very final thing that chat GPT recommends that we do is something we're both dying for because we are feeling a little tired I've got to say you would probably agree with me, wouldn't you? That it's a great itinerary for the Sunshine Coast. You know, maybe you would like to do all this in two days because we've found it's pretty full on, but we've loved every bit of it. It's been great. Okay, to finish off our day, ChatGPT recommends enjoy dinner at one of the many award-winning restaurants in Noosa with a focus on local and fresh ingredients. The region is known for its gastronomy. Head to Hastings Street for fine dining or Noosa Junction for a more laid back atmosphere. And we're kind of going in the middle. We're going somewhere we've been for takeaway food before, but we've never dined at the restaurant on the water and that's the boathouse in Nooseville. So we're gonna continue our walk and then we'll see you again when we have our delicious dinner at the boathouse. For an entree, Paul's having a chicken pearl couscous salad with hummus. And for my entree, I'm having fresh mackerel with a Thai salad. For our mains, Paul went with the beef brevet. Yes, the beef's hiding underneath the rocket and shaved parmesan salad. And I've gone for the barramundi fish cakes with a watercress salad and a homemade pesto. And we have to say the food was absolutely delicious. Did you have a good day? Yeah, really good. <laughs> That's really good. Um, we're really exhausted, can you tell? It's been a big day, mm. big day. So there you go. Not not everything scary with this artificial intelligence, intelligence. stuff. <laughs> well, not these itineraries anyway. No. Um, it was a good itinerary, but as I said before, you can you can make up your own great itinerary. I honestly, we love the Sunshine Coast, this region so much that you could do anything, and 
you have a great time. Mm. So oh, I've got to say, I left and I am full, but oh, they make the best fish and chips here, do you know? I saw that little takeaway thing and I was going to see if Paul wanted a couple of potato cakes on the way home, but I'm not going to do that. Or scallops, wherever you come from. Um, potato scallops, but I'm not going to do that, but I'll tell you, they make the best, don't they? Yeah, yeah really good. Really good. Okay, mm -hmm. so full, really okay. tired. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And also, did you know, did you know that more people watch our videos and are subscribed to them? Yeah. It's true. true. There you go. True fact. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe after this video because we really did put a lot of work into it, didn't we? Well, to give you chat GPT did. Yeah, no, that just told us what to do. Oh, but yeah. We actually did okay. all the work. But yeah. I've got to say it was a lot of fun. We had yeah. a best, the best time. Mm. So I hope you have a great rest of the week and all the next week. And we'll see you on the next one.